What else can we fucking possibly touch up on in the next 45 minutes? Everything's unpredictable. You Tons. guys are in for a treat. Lots of stuff's been going on. Lots of stuff. You went to New York. I went, I to, went New York. to New York. Yeah. You made a video yesterday. Yes. Uh, you've been working on your tennis game. Yep. Is there anything else? Yeah. I impregnated your mother. Oh, right. I forgot about that. You might as well let everybody know. No, I'm kidding. I didn't marry your mom, though. And I'm Jason's, officially Jason's stepdad. Mm-hmm. <laughs> um, Man, sorry guys, I'm a little bit tired. I just woke up from a nap because uh, his mother and I were out last night, <laughs> just pounding some beers. No, so I married. I married. We talked about it on the podcast before about how cool it would be if I married your mom. Yeah, I don't know if "cool" was the right word that mm-hmm. you used, but you you get you gave me your blessing to to marry her. I did. I think you're a great guy. So I went for what I went for it. Um, I don't know if you watched the videos, but I I flew to Boston. I surprised her. Uh huh. Um. To, to propose to her right. because Jason made a mean comment to me. And so I went to Boston. I proposed. She was very confused. Initially, she was very happy I was there. And then she was like, I'm so fucking confused you're here, why you're here. And then I proposed to her and she, she just looked at me. She's like, are you crazy? What's going on? And then she goes, oh, yes, yes, mm-hmm. yes, <laughs> yes, I will. It's for DACA, isn't it? It's, for, it's, to, it's to keep you here legally. Mm-hmm. Yes, I will marry you. And oh. I was like, I was like, oh no, 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 that's not what it is. And then, and then I had to sit down and I had to explain to her that I just wanted to be your stepdad. And then she goes, oh, that's fucking hilarious. <laughs> I don't care to your mom, but she was she was excited about that. So then, an hour later, we hopped on a plane. Right. We went to Las Vegas. Uh-huh. We landed in Vegas, and we went straight to the courthouse from there. Mm-hmm. Um, and the courthouse is where like it like happens. Like you know, I, I was. I wasn't scared to do it, but when we got to the courthouse, it got like really serious, mm-hmm. and I got a bunch of calls from like my my lawyer, my manager, my parents. Mm-hmm. They're like, "What are you doing? This is don't do this." Right. And and my lawyers were so scared that I wasn't signing a prenup. Right? right. They were like fucking. They were like, "She's gonna take your money," and I'm like, <laughs> "I don't think so. I don't think that's the case." And my lawyer also didn't understand that I was marrying your mother. He just thought I mar- He just thought I found some. Like girl that I really love, yeah, and he was like congratulating. Don't me. get me wrong, David. She's really hot, <laughs> but I don't think this is a good idea. Why are you going to rush into things? Uh, we were filling out the paperwork, and I asked, "I'm like, can I just get like a like a? Can we just get like a fake piece of paper that yeah. that it makes it official or whatever? Like we won't, we'll just fill it out ourselves." She's like, "No, you can't do that. Um, you you just can't do that." And I was like, "Okay, fine." So I got cold feet, so I left the place. <laughs> <laughs> so I left the court- after all that. I left the courthouse and I got in the car and I was like, okay, maybe it's not a good idea. Let's see what else I can do. And then I'm in the car and like we're all talking about like still doing the actual ceremony but not doing the papers. Right. But it just felt so horrible. Yeah. Like it didn't feel like it at all anymore because uh-huh. it wasn't real anymore. Now it's just like I was fucking acting. Uh, right. Do you know what I mean? So like I was pretty bummed out. Yeah. And then I finally uh, we, we got the courage and I went back. Uh-huh. And I just I I did it the actual legal way, so now I'm genuinely 100 percent married to your mom. Um, so we filled out all the paperwork, went back to the courthouse. It's funny, er, sorry, went back to the chapel. Everywhere we would go, like all like the chapel, all the hotels we would go to, I'd tell everyone that I was getting married, and they would always look at Natalie and they'd be like, "Congratulations!" <laughs> and it was so fucking fun, oh, funny. so fun being able to tell them, "Oh no, 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 that's for it's it's me and her," and they'd be like, "Oh, awesome." <laughs> They, they wouldn't get it at all. Um, and Natalie was like, don't ever say that again. Yeah. Strange, perfect stranger. <laughs> so yeah, and then we got married at the chapel. Yeah. Um, I asked if she'd kiss me. She said yes. Okay. I was very happy about that. Okay, nice. We know, um, you know you've been struggling in the lady department. It felt good. <laughs> good. That's honestly the only reason I did it. <laughs> and then I asked if we could make out. She said no. <laughs> that was afterwards. Um, we kissed once. Natalie wasn't recording, so we had to kiss again. <laughs> Just so you know. It felt better the second time. It felt more real the second time. <laughs> nice. It felt like all the jitters were gone the second <laughs> yeah. time, and uh-huh. it actually felt like love. Yeah. I have to say, you haven't been much of a husband. You've been married for a week, haven't spent any time with her. I'm actually being more of a husband than I could possibly be uh, being right now. I gave her my credit card the other day to go to Beverly Hills to buy whatever she wants while I was uh, out in New York working. So I hope you uh-huh. enjoy your new purse, Mrs. Nash, if you're <laughs> listening to this. All right. Excuse me. Mrs. Dobrik. Uh um, I have you don't enough. have a credit card. What are you talking about? Yeah, you're right. <laughs> I don't have a credit card. But yeah, and then and then we got married, and it's so crazy. The people at the chapel took it so seriously. Sure. I mean, obviously, right? Because it's in Vegas, so they don't know what's real and what's not. Right. 
Yeah, they have to. And um, they were they were so supportive of it. They didn't believe it at first, but then but then when they saw us kiss, they were like, "Oh wow, yeah, we're sold. This is real." Right. Um, and they had a tux there for you. They had a tux. They had a dress there for her. And then when we were done, we we were just like, "Can you just like, can you just throw, can you just throw the papers out? Don't submit them." Because it, it it was it was the person's final call to submit all the papers that we got at the courthouse. It's his final call, meaning if he doesn't think if, that it's real, he can toss it. No, yeah. If he doesn't want it, if he doesn't want to, he doesn't have to put it in. Mm-hmm. But um, he's like, nope. This is the it's the law. I have to turn it in. I'm turning it in. Mm-hmm. So he 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 turned it in. He's like, I told you guys you'd be legally married, and I'm turning it in. He was like really mad. Oh wow! So he turned it in. It's uh, funny in Vegas when they stick to the rules because you think anything goes there. So they turned it in, and um, now like you can go on the chapel's website. We're one of their notable marriages, <laughs> right under Joe Jonas, I think. <laughs> Um, so that, that was really nice. Yeah. Um, and there's like, now there's actual legal on your Wikipedia page. It on says my Wikipedia spouse. Yeah. My Wikipedia Lorraine page, Nash. it says Jason Nash steps on. <laughs> it's really, funny. does it? Yeah. Oh, it says that. Yeah. And on That's yours, weird. it says that I'm your stepfather. And, um, yeah, I mean that, that was all great. Like I, I, I really liked it. It's just now there's like actual papers out there online that show that we're married, which is great yeah. and kind of shitty because it sucks. Cause I have to get a divorce. Don't tell her. Um, I'm gonna ask for that soon. <laughs> um, but but it's I guess it's really nice because now people understand that like we actually went and fucking did it. We didn't just half-ass it. Sure. Yeah. It was, it's pretty great. Um, but no, it was a lovely time, and it was dude. It was fucking really expensive to get married. I was gonna ask you, yeah, how much is it? Yeah, the whole thing was around. I think it was, it was a little. It was close to twenty thousand dollars. The whole thing, with the first class travel to the hotels. That was crazy. Nice. It was like a real fucking honeymoon. Yeah, yeah, we yeah. We stayed at the Four Seasons. Yeah. We got separate rooms, but of course, you know, we couldn't help ourselves. So you put her at the date. <laughs> so in the middle of the night, I went over to her room. <laughs> you um, didn't stick my mom at the travel lodge. No, I stuck your mom all right. <laughs> <laughs> That's fucking fucked up. I'm done. Um, no, I didn't. No, I. that would have been funny yeah. if I got back and you saw that I put your mom in like the worst <laughs> hotels while I stayed in like the most amazing ones. No, and she was great the entire time. She was. What was your favorite part of the whole thing? Just being with her. Spending time with her? Yeah. Cool. Just being able to look her in the eyes and say how much I've, how much she means to me. Have you had a lot of, um, probably a lot of girls are disappointed this week that you're off the market. Yeah, I think it's helping me with the women. You think, I think so? Yeah, I think people like a married man. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I think people people know I'm responsible, mm-hmm. and that I could, you know, and I, and I have a lot of kids, so they know I've, I've, you know, they know I've, I've raised, I've raised humans. You've done a great job raising me. I think so too. I mean, look you know, how I, I turned used to out. be so hard on you, but now that you're my son, <laughs> it's just. Feel, Are you proud of me? Yeah. yeah. Okay, good. Can I say this? Yeah. We're getting a divorce, your mother and I. Okay. And it's not your fault. I want to make things very clear. It has nothing, absolutely nothing to I do with I wasn't blaming myself. Okay. It has nothing to do with your eating habits or you tearing the family apart at all. 